my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody you guys as promised today I am reacting to one of the first videos first balloon garland that I made for my YouTube channel uh, time flies that's all I can say uh, this room served me for a long time as a start of my YouTube channel I used to film intros and outros in this room and I would move into my guest room which is now my filming room and film there so this is kind of like suitable basically a start of my YouTube channel and this room is kind of like yep that's where it all began if you're new here, you guys, welcome everybody. If you're here specifically because of my balloon garlands, welcome, that's awesome. Who didn't know I started my YouTube channel way, way before three years ago? I was kind of like testing the waters of what this whole YouTube thing is all about. I was putting a whole bunch of pictures in one video, putting copyrighted music on top of it and posting and I'm like why, why is this video like striked, why is it not going anywhere and it was such a mess. Now I know why because three years, more than three years have passed and I know what is happening with this whole YouTube thing. But back then I'm like, okay, let's let's try again. Let's not give up, you know? So I started making uh, videos, a whole bunch of pictures again with copyrighted music on top of it about wedding decor, engagement parties, baby showers. I did a lot back then. I have a huge passion for decor for wedding decor specifically. I love this whole atmosphere of wedding planning and wedding decor. For now, I did put everything wedding related aside because I want to focus on other things, but this is my dream to have a venue, wedding venue, and be in charge of basically everything in that venue and maybe, you know, start my wedding wedding decor business who knows i don't know how life will go but this is what i went definitely in uh life to achieve this then i moved on to diys moving to diys i was kind of more serious about youtube i got a a glimpse of what youtube is i was making diys for the house for, I mean, for everything basically. I wasn't really feeling making DIYs, like complete DIYs on uh, my channel. Then I, out of the blue, I decided to make a bed drop for my video just because I love wedding decor. I'm like, why not just combine bed drops, you know, with DIYs? So I started making paper flowers and putting them on the backdrop and I love that so, so much. And out of the blue, here is out of the blue, I decided, I'm like, hey, I have a whole bunch of balloons laying and this trend is happening right now, like making balloon garlands out of balloons. And I'm like, this, this looks very interesting. I'm like, why not? Let's make this balloon garland. But then I told my husband, I'm like, Oleg, I really, really don't want to associate my channel with balloons because I thought balloons will be exactly the same thing every single time and I would get bored with it because it's just balloons but different colors and I didn't understand that balloons, so you can do so much with them, different styles and different everything and there's a whole bunch of different styles and types of balloons. Now I know. I made that video, it was a fast forward video and I'm like, I don't know, I really don't know. I really like what I created but I don't know if I want to do it. Time had passed and you guys loved that video. I don't know if there's anybody left from back then is still following me. I saw that a lot of people do like that video and uh, I'm like, wow, I'm curious, maybe I can make another one, like to see, maybe I would like to associate my channel with balloons, not because people are watching, because I was enjoying working with balloons. I made my second uh, balloon garland out of balloons that were laying for years in my drawers and this is the video that I will be reacting to because first video was fast forward and I wasn't explaining anything and the second balloon garland I was actually explaining and trying to help you out you guys and um, I do remember a little bit 
about when I was making this video so I know what to expect so this is kind of like a backstory how I started making balloon garlands and getting into balloons all right here we go hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome everybody if you're here for the first time like I usually say don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell. I got a request to, uh, to make more videos on balloon garlands. I made a balloon garland uh, video a, about three months ago and it seems like you guys love that video. So why not to make a second video but a little bit different. In the previous video I didn't really talk through. I kind of fast forward. True. In this video I wanted to talk to you guys and explain every step that I'm going to be doing and why I'm doing it. I pulled out a lot of the... First of all, you guys, uh, it's like I'm sitting here, I'm like, come on, Anastasia, get to the point, like, talk faster, faster, I... <laughs> previous DIYs and things that I made on my channel. Here is where all of my... DIYs and things will come up. This is what I was doing before balloon garlands. I had a lot of crystals and a whole bunch of other things. So, and I would love to recycle, use it again, recycle and make the balloon garland more out there and just a statement. If you want to see how I do it, what's going on, just stay tuned and uh, let's get to it. Here, what I pulled out, these are the crystals that are usually used for weddings if the bride is into crystals. Also, I have my purple paper flowers, poppy seed flowers, my 700 pink paper flowers as well. This is a leaf garland, my balloon pump adhesive dots. Lots of balloons, uh, safety pins, fishing line, and uh, scissors. And we might use this and Christmas lights. We'll see what I'm going to use and how I'm going to utilize all this, but we'll see how it's going to look and we'll just go with the flow. I still have everything that I showed in this video, I still have it, all of my flowers. I think the only flowers that I got rid of, those purple uh, paper flowers because they were incredibly, incredibly old and they were kind of like falling apart, so I decided to part with them. So we need to blow the balloons up and I'll be using pink, oh, I have really uh, a good amount of leftovers from the previous garland, pink balloons and red balloons. It's oh you guys oh no like I, I was about to comment on something else but now i see how i blew that balloon and it's just like uh, <laughs> i cringe a little bit you guys you never inflate your balloons to this state this balloon is way way over blown with air than this balloon can handle ah if your balloon takes that pear shape it's wrong you need to let some air out and it's funny that i don't use nozzles on top of uh, nozzles you know i was like i'm like why are they here like i don't need them uh Looking at this pile of balloons right now, you guys, I I don't think I had an idea that balloons come in different sizes because I was trying to stretch my, were they 10 inch balloons or I don't know what kind of balloons I used because I bought, I remember I bought them on eBay and I didn't even look what kind of size it is because I had no clue, like 12, how big is it, you know? So I was trying to inflate them to the biggest size, shrinking those balloons into smaller and smaller sizes. This is stained at my fingers, these red ones. So for the next step of our garland, you will need to make clusters of balloons. 
garland. It's a little bit different now. It's garland. <laughs> So take different sizes of balloons, different colors. So I took one a large red balloon, uh, one medium, and one small pink balloon. You will pinch three balloons at the bottom, just like so. And you will tangle them in between each other. So go through a few times and they will hold the shape. Don't tangle them like that, like I did here. They will untangle themselves and they will fall apart. It's better to tie them. I have made all of my clusters. I left a really tight. But I was on the right track making clusters. Any balloons without a cluster. I'm going to place them on adhesive, uh, glue that, and glue them later on after the garland will be hitting on a bed drop. This is kind of upsetting. I've lost count how many red balloons popped. This is not uh, every. No wonder they popped, you guys. They were incredibly overflown with air, overblown. You guys, ah. I think that popped. I don't know what's going on. But these pop. I know what's going on now. Uh, pink ones, uh, only one popped and one deflated because it had a hole. But these pink are really good. I fishing line, fishing. fishing line. Back then, till this day, I love my fishing line, even though I moved to other techniques. Fishing line, love it. The only thing that changed is the size of my fishing line. That's all that changed. I used to use, I believe, a 10 pound fishing line, and I switched to 20 or 30 pound fishing line, which works better for me. Don't cut it. I have the rest of my fishing line over there. So I have started my garland. It was very easy to start. Just take the balloon and wrap around with fishing line and push it towards your backdrop. I'm going to show you right now how you, uh, you can start and see what I mean? See what I mean? Girl, you're overblowing your balloons. Don't see me. They pop. They're so annoying. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I'm going to show you how you can start and build your garland. Take one cluster. Find the position that you want to place. I like it how it looks just like that. Take your fishing line and then wrap around one of the balloons once. Just like that. And wrap around balloon once. Uh, now I wrap around balloons multiple times. Push it to secure and they're not gonna slide. We're finally done building our garland. To finish the garland and secure all of your balloons, you will take your last cluster of balloons and take the fishing line and you will wrap around the balloon a few times to secure really, really well. This is not how I secure my balloon garlands today. For my next step, I'll be taking my adhesive glue dots. And now uh, fill the spaces that you want to be filled on your garland and we'll move on to the next step. In this video, I use one glue dot per balloon. You guys, it's a huge no-no for me. Uh, right now, I always recommend using more than two glue dots per balloon because one glue dot won't hold your balloons for a long time. This is 
is what I came up with. I'll see you all back very, very soon. Bye-bye. So this is my reaction on this first, one of the first balloon garlands. You guys, a lot have changed since then. I know a lot more stuff about balloons. I know that there's different types, sizes, qualities, shapes of balloons. There's different companies that make balloons and I know that you don't really have to use glue dots. You can use 260s, rubber bands. You can use not only fishing line, you can do, you can use a, a twine, a curling ribbon, 260s, again, rubber bands. I mean, you can use so many other things to build your balloon garlands. My knowledge is, uh, is better about balloons, definitely. I like to use a lot more props nowadays. I like to build my balloon garlands into like massive garlands. I like to play with shapes, so with sizes of balloon garlands. I mean, uh, sky's the limit with balloons. I know that you can do a lot with balloons. So I really do thank you guys for being here and supporting me and what I do and I am so happy to know that my videos are actually useful and you benefit from them. I am thankful to all who support me and supported me so many years and throughout so many videos you've been patient throughout my learning curve over here because I did learn a lot and yeah. Thank you again. Thank you for believing in what I do. This is it for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with family and friends. And if you're new here, you guys, hit the subscribe button for more videos. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Stay safe and I will see you back very soon. Bye.